Hi everyone. So as you can see, I'm going to rank these Pixar movies that I have here. Now, I don't think this list of Pixar movies is complete, but here's what we have. So, yeah, let's start. First one, Bugs Life. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I, have, I haven't seen this movie yet, so I'm going to include this too. Haven't seen, but I heard that it is a good movie, so maybe I'll consider if I'm not feeling lazy. The next one is Brave. Brave. I, I've seen this one, but is it good? I think it's I think it's fine you know it's fine it has this story of the daughter having some issues with her mother and her being grounded by the mindset of her time it has some very good lessons but I don't think this movie has you know make me feel something that is very strong like the other ones here below but for me personally I like the movie it is a fine movie so I think it's fine I could put it on the good part but I think there are more movies that are above it so I'll just put it here in the middle the next one is Cars Cars is the movie that I really like but it is not the best so I'll put it on good it has a very nice story I remember the time when I first watched this when I was a kid uh, it felt like the movie was very long because it has a lot of context and that for me personally made it a very good movie Not that amazing, but personally it is kind of better than Brave. So yeah, Cars 2. Now this movie has a lot of hate, you know, not a lot of people enjoyed Cars 2 But for me personally, this is also a, you know, a very good movie. I would like it. I would like to put it s somewhere in between good and amazing i don't know if a lot of you will agree with me this tier list is highly subjective so if you don't like my tier list you can also do this yourself send me your tier list down below i'll put the link below so for me it is a good movie i think it is better than the first one because it has some stories that made an impact to me about lightning mcqueen's anger management issues and some other things so I think this is a very good movie. Now, Cars 3. This is an amazing one. You know, it is very satisfying to see that uh, Lightning McQueen, the cartoon that you watched when you were a kid, grow old. I don't think I, have, <laughs> I don't think I have enough words to say here, but yeah, for me it is an amazing movie. I could watch this a couple of times because it is that good. Coco. I'm sorry for those who really like this movie. I I haven't seen this one yet because it gives me that Book of Life vibes, if you know what that movie is. So I think it has some similarities and it kind of made me discouraged to watch this movie. But I think it is a very good movie. I know it is a very good movie because I have heard a lot of people who said that it is a very good movie, but it's not one of my tastes. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Now, Nemo. Nemo is the kind of movie that you enjoy when you were a kid. And even right now, I'm 21 right now, I think I'll still enjoy this, but not on the level of Cars movie. So... This is a fine movie, okay? Second one is Dory. I don't think it is a bad movie, but it's definitely not awful. I can't really say that it is a fine movie. I think they just felt the pressure of releasing this movie so that they can say that Nemo movie had a sequel. It's not really that bad, but if I can put it somewhere here in between, I would, but here you go. 
I'm sorry for those who like the movie Inside Out this is a very good one I like this movie it's that Monsters Incorporated I also like this movie is it good? definitely not amazing for me maybe it is amazing for you but it's not that amazing for me good yeah it is good I like the movie Monsters University it is an amazing sequel if you know what I mean if you watch the movie it is it is inarguably better than the first movie but I can put it somewhere here so it's definitely an amazing movie the next one is Onward I haven't seen this one yet I know the protagonist here is voiced by Tom Holland but I'm not that convinced yet to watch the movie so I haven't seen it yet next one Ratatouille this is an amazing movie for me it is a very good one it made me feel something not just something made me feel very important emotions so yeah I'm sorry if I can't describe these movies as detailed as you want it to be uh, I just you know I want to do this without any script so that I can provide what I really think about this without thinking too much about it so the next one is soul I know this movie I've seen this this movie is it is a good movie it made me feel a lot of emotions but I don't think it is as good as this ones yeah I can confirm it it's not bad so I'll Maybe I'll put it here. It is an average Pixar movie. All Pixar movies are great, but I can say that it is one of the, you know, fine. It's a fine movie. It's a good movie. Good enough, but not as good as the good ones. The Good Dinosaur. I'm sorry, I haven't seen this yet. The Incredibles. Let me remember. Yeah. It's a fine movie. It is a movie more on the action side. It has some great scenes, but not as good as the other ones on top. And The Incredibles 2. I think they kind of like became a bit mediocre about this. It's like they don't want to change a lot so that they won't ruin the movie. But at the same time, it made the movie somehow an average it's still a good movie because it is a Pixar movie but on the scale of all Pixar movies it is on the it's just on the middle section so it's not really for me next one is let's, let's start with the Toy Story one this is a very good movie it is an amazing one. Toy Story is the movie where you have a lot of characters. Actually, a lot of protagonists. No, there's a main protagonist, but there are a lot of main characters in the movie. And I think what Toy Story has done here is that even though the movie has a lot of characters, uh, they didn't leave someone out. It feels like we got to know every one of them. It is an amazing movie for me. And I think for a lot of people. The next one is Toy Story 2. This is the Toy Story where they introduced Jesse and the old man inside the box. And then the toy barn with the <laughs> fat owner. Is that it? Um, what's this? I think it is... Oh yeah, it is still an amazing movie, especially the scene where, you know, Jesse, her owner, is growing up and Jesse 
was being left behind. It made me really sad on that part and it made this movie a very amazing one. So, it is an S tier movie. Toy Story 3. Now, wait, it's not just a fine movie, okay? Is it amazing or is it just good? Amazing, good. Amazing, good. Amazing, good. Lots of the daycare being a prison. No, it's just a good movie. If I can put it somewhere here in between, I would, but yeah. It is a very good movie. It is not as amazing as the first and second one. But it is still a very good movie. <laughs> Toy Story 4. This movie, it has a lot of very good cinematographies that made the movie feel like it is, you know, captured with the camera and not drawn. But I think it is not ama as amazing as the other two. So I'll put it here. Good. It closed the Toy Story franchise very well, but I think they're not as good as the first and second one. So, yeah. Next up. The Up movie. It is amazing. It is very amazing. Uh, what should I say about this? I don't know. It's just that it's an amazing movie. Yeah. I have no words. I've seen the movie, don't get me wrong. I just... <laughs> I don't have the words to explain it even further. Next one. Wall-E. This movie... Is... Is it amazing? I really like the love story of Wally and Eve is it an amazing one I can consider it an amazing movie because the accuracy that it presents to us right now like what would happen in the future so it is more on the cool side amazing side well, it is an amazing one but if I am going to compare it on the amazing tier is it as good as Ratatouille, Toy Story, or just in the second one? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm undecided. So oh, maybe I'll put this on the good. Yeah, it is a good movie. It is a good movie. I think that's it. There's nothing more left behind. Uh, if you don't like my tier list, I don't care. <laughs> this is subjective, so it can be different to you. But if you want to create your own tier list, I'll put the link down below on the description. And you can share your rank with me. So, like this video if you like it. And you can also subscribe. It's free, you know. Bye.